The game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Tonight, it's a compelling matchup of two division leaders between the Rocket City Trash Pandas and the Mississippi Braves. Stepping in, Zane Gerwitz. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Now the one and one pitch. Right. Temperature here at game time, a comfortable 75 degrees tonight. To two balls and two strikes now. Now a swing and a miss on the slider as the leadoff man is set down on strikes to open up the ball game. Into the box now, Keaton Weiss, and he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. All even now, two and two. Now here's the pitch. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Nisloni is there, two down. Into the box, Bo Way is ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Here's the one and one pitch. Sent out to straightaway center field. Long run for the center fielder. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Digging in, Sean Michelle. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the 2 1 pitch is taken, no, ball three. It. Having a little trouble finding the zone to start the night. It's always deflating to walk the leadoff ball guy in the game, it. so we'll see if he can initiate some contact here. And he takes ball four, so the leadoff man is on the here in the home half of the first Rico. in a scoreless ball game. Rico. Inside here with the hard stuff, and it's two and one now. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Set to get his evening at the That's plate started. Good. Drew Waters batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. The 1-2. Nope. Oh. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Sent on the ground out to second. The second for one. On to first. A double play. Digging in now, Drew Lugbauer, runner in scoring position with two gone. Drew Lugbauer. The set and the 2 1. No, that's not This is a spot no. you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. And awfully close there on three and two, but take your base, says Earl Hendricks. It's ball four. Next will be the designated hitter, Ryan Castile. It's a good first inning RBI spot for him. Runners at the corners and two gone. And he fouls this one off. The set and the one two. Line to the right side. In there, and their first hit of the season is going to be for extra bases. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1 0 lead. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. The right fielder, Tyler. Into the box, Tyler Nesloni. Seared down the first baseline. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. Second inning set to go, and set to go is the third baseman, Jordan Zimmerman. The 2 2 is looked at, and the count moves full. 
Joey Curletta is on deck. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing, so that's ball four. Stepping up to the plate, Joey Curletta, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. The 3-2 pitch is swung on and missed. He got him. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Connor Justice. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Center fielder on the run. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Stepping into the box, Johan Ureña. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Zimmerman, the runner at first with two gone. Throw over to the bag, and he'll dive back in safely. One and two now. Fouled off. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Now a throw over and a dive, but he's back in. A runner on first with two away. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. Into the box now, Edwin Yon. And he misses two and one. Two balls, one strike. Slider can't find the zone here, and he's behind now three and one. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Inside with the fastball, and he works the base on ball. Yeah. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Man, 35 pitches with only two outs in the second inning? Ideally, you'd like to have 30 or less after two innings, so he's got some catching up to do. Hit to third. He's got it. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Leading off the inning, Braden Shoemake, and they'll need him to get something going here. A 1 1. Oh, outside. Line drive to center field. Way is right there, one down. Now batting, C.J. Alexander. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Young is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Batting number. So digging in now, Carlos Martinez will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Up high, two and one now. Takes this the other way to right. That gets down, and the inning continues. Throw into second. But he'll be in there with a double. In now, Sean Michelle.
swing and a hard liner to center field. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Top of the third set to get underway. And that'll bring in the second baseman, Zane Gerwitz. The 1-1 one -one home. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Keaton Weiss is on deck. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, he's digging for second. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. The the so now to the plate, Keaton Weiss fouled away. The one two. This is on the ground over to first. And it's a productive first out as that runner is able to advance 90 feet up to third here. Ready for another chance? No way. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. Line drive to left. And that is down as that could be two bases. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. It's now three to one. And he is in the second base with an RBI Not double. Third base. Jordan Zimmerman. Stepping in now, Jordan Zimmerman. A full count, three balls and two strikes. He's not having his best outing in this one, and I think that curveball is part of the reason why. He couldn't get on top of that one, and that's not the first time that's happened. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up. And safe at first on a bang-bang play as that last lunge was enough to beat the throw. Now batting, right fielder, Joey Curletta. At the plate, Joey Curletta. Line down the left field line. But this is foul near the seats. Ready to deliver the one and two. Again, he sends it out of play. Runners are at first and second with one away. He extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And not in time as the second run scores. The bat, number seven, designated hitter, Connor. Standing in now, Connor Justice. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And that's through into left, a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Now batting, the first base, Johan Arena. To the plate now, Johan Arena. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. A good movement bearing <laughs> in. It's two balls and two strikes. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Good time to try to put the ball down in the strike zone. You can either get a strikeout or a potential double play ball. To the left side, but it's well foul. The 3 2 one more time. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Payoff pitch one more time. High and deep to right center. Center fielder giving chase. And the play is made, but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up. And he will come across to score on the sacrifice fly as this is now a 6-1 to one ball game. Now that Stepping into the box, Edwin Young. He drew a walk his first time up. 
swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. Settling in now, Wendell Rijo, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Now in now, Drew Waters. 0 for 1 here in the early going. 1-1. Bases are empty, one man out. One and two, count. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield, and there's out number two. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Drew Lugbauer. He drew a base on balls his first time up. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And the pitch. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. Now to the plate, Jack Kruger. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs, too. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. The batter number 19, second baseman, Jane. 1-1. One, one. Is taken for strike two. Hit the other way out toward right field. Nisloni is there, two down. Now with the play, the Keaton Weiss. He started the out the evening 0 for 2 Keaton. so far. Wow. Bases are empty here with two men out. 3 and 1. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Now the three and two pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Michelle will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Leading off the inning, Ryan Castile, and they'll need him to get something going here. Now the one and one pitch. Misses, ball two. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Got him to go after a bad one there, and it evens the count at two and two. Hey, I love the mindset of this pitcher right here. Try and dominate and execute a fastball in. And then get the guy sitting inside trying to be quick to everything. And then pull the string a little bit on a nasty changeup. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The, the strikeout and the there's one gone. Tyler. Net The 1-1 home. And it's fouled away. One out, nobody on. Hit to short. Reined in. Throw gets him. Two down. Now at the plate, Braden Shoemake hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. And he fouls this one off. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. 
swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. Hey, that wasn't a particularly good pitch right here. This guy doesn't get away with very many mistakes. He's going to have to do a better job pitching out of the middle part of the plate. Into the box, C.J. Alexander lifted the other way to left center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Kurt Hookstra, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Number 85. So coming to the plate, Paul Wayne. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A.B., maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. This is chopped down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Into the box now, Jordan Zimmerman. Bases are empty, one man out. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Now batting. Stepping up now, Joey Curletta. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Toward second. And the off balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and now it'll be the catcher, Carlos Martinez. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Young will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Sean Michelle. He was robbed of a hit in his last no. at bat so he'll try to change his fortunes here. Yeah you got to control the controllables Matty. All you can do is put barrel to baseball and see what happens. You cannot control the defensive wizardry on the other side. No batter, number two. Striding in once again Wendell Reho. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Hit hard to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Striding forward now is the DH, Connor Justice. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. The 1 2. 2 2. Heading out towards shallow right. In there, a base hit. And this will kick off the base of the wall. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Now that the first base, Johan Arena. In now, Johan Arena pops this one up. Riho is there, one away. Coming to the plate now, Edwin Young hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the result sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Racing back the center fielder, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. And he'll cruise into the bag at second with a one out double. The batter, the catcher. Jack Kruger. Stepping in now, Jack Kruger. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. 
So striding in, Zane Gerwitz. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Now the 2 1 pitch. Pops this one up. Riho moving to his left. He's got it, and that'll get him out of the jam. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and coming forward is the switch hitting outfielder, Drew Waters. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. Bouncer up the middle. He's got it. And a good throw gets him one gun. At the plate, Up Drew Lugbauer. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Hit high and deep to left field. Looking up is the left fielder to the track to the wall. And this one is gone. A home run. Into the box now. Tyler Nesloni. Hit hard on the ground to second. He's right there. Throw in time and the side is retired. Digging in to try it again. Keaton Weiss. He flew out in his last at bat. This is foul right side. The next one two pitch. Liner towards second. But an atom ball right to him for the first down. Now at the plate, Bo Way. He's working on a one for three thus far. One out, nobody on. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Line hard to the left side. But this is a foul ball. 2-2. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Now that the third baseman, Jordan Zimmerman. At the plate, Jordan Zimmerman. On he pops it up. Lugbauer ranging into the outfield. He can't get to it. This one's down. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Bradley Roney comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top of the seventh. Standing in now, Joey Curletta tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. And another foul ball. Runners are at first and third, one away. Hit hard up the middle, right to him. A bare hand for one on the first. And talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. Jeremy Rose gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Jeremy Trying to pick things up where he left off. Braden Shoemake. He's one for two in this one. The last at that, Manny D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Young has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Now Stepping in and ready for another shot. C.J. Alexander. Alexander. 
Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. One thing that can nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. There's a ball ripped toward the gap in left center. Running hard, he's digging for second. And he'll reach second now with one away. Now batting. The catcher. Carlos. Into the box, Carlos Martinez. Lays off the slider that time, two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Here now the 2-2. It was laid off, and the count runs full. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Now in the box, Sean Michelle. 0 for 2 for him to this point. To two balls and two strikes now. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. set for the start of the inning and standing in is the D.H. Connor Justice. Ready with the one and one. Grounded up the first baseline. Throw on to first in time so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now batting. Digging in. Johan Arena. He was retired Arena. after popping out in his last at bat. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. He'll try again, one, two. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the now inning. Back. The left fielder. Digging in, Edwin Yon. One for Yon. two with a double on his line thus far. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. Now batting. Digging in once again, Jack Kruger. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. And you can live with punching out with the bases empty, but in his last at-bat with two runners in scoring position, you cannot go down not putting the ball in play. Too much on the line, too many ribby opportunities out there to swing and miss in that spot. Two out with the man at first. Lined in the right, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The batter number 19, second base. In now, Zane Gerwitz. Gerwitz. Now a ball hit hard toward first. And this is down for extra bases, and with two out, this might get them both home. The batter number eight. So now to the plate, Keaton Weiss hit on the ground to short. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Jason Creasy enters the ball game out of the pen, looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Bo Way will be the first one to greet him now as he'll do so with runners at the corners and two out in the inning. Bounce to first. Scooped up, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Jose Rodriguez is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 63. Bottom of the inning now, and set to go is the second baseman, Wendell Rijo. 
it doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings down by a bundle it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one Rodriguez has over 40 innings on his line so far and through those innings he's posted a whip a little oh, under 1.5 certainly something he'd like to improve on Drew Waters will be next 3 2 pitch in the air now out to right field Curletta is there and he makes the catch for the out. So stepping in, Drew Waters. He'll swing it from the left side right here. This is somewhat of a cause for concern. This guy needs to hit better left-handed against right-handed pitching. Popped him up. Gerwitz waits on it. And he makes the catch for the second out. So here's the cleanup hitter, Drew Lugbauer. No hits to this point. Two out, nobody on. A ball and two strikes. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Digging in and looking for more. Jordan Zimmerman. Two hits in three at bats for him in this one. This one's down to third. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Standing in, Joey Curletta. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Hit on the ground toward the left. Fielded cleanly. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Ready once again, Connor Justice. He's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Shin high. That's taken for a ball. Three one pitch and this is taken low for ball four and they'll have themselves a two out base runner here after all now batting the at the plate Johan Arena he's got a hit in three at bats to this point he's set here comes the one one and when you're already down five the last thing you want to do is fall behind in the count when you're on the mound that's not going to do anything to help you get back into this thing two and two two balls two strikes Still even at two and two. A runner on first with two away. And he missed with this one up around the noggin. Now it's full. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Fouled off. The next three, two. And he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away, and it's still full at three and two. Once again, a three-two. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Kyle Keller, a six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 68. Kyle. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And striding forward, the designated hitter, Ryan Castile. Yeah, in his last at bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this AB to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. Line drive to center field. That's in for a base hit. He's now three for four. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. 
the right fielder, number 21. To the plate now, Tyler Nesloni. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. The one two. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. The one two. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. Sliding into the box, Braden Shoemake. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Here it comes on one and one. That's the ball. Runner at first here, one man out. Line drive to center field, and that's in there. Base hit. Oh, and it's off target, and he'll be safe at third. Now that the third baseman at the plate, C.J. Alexander. Hit down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. From the belt, kicks and deals. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. Ready for another shot now, now Carlos back. Martinez. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Hard hit at third. He's got it. Throw on to second for the force, and the ball game is over. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. 8-4 tonight. The Rocket City Trash Pandas took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Michael Santos with his fourth win this season. Kyle Muller struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa. Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game for the victorious Trash Pandas, eight runs on 12 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For Mississippi, four runs, seven hits, one error. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 22 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Braves and everyone at Truett Park, we'd like to thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely. Thank you.